My name is Simon Jones. I'm the founder and CEO of Helping Rhinos. Now, today is Endangered Species Day, so it seems a, an opportune day to be talking about rhinos, um, and especially when they are, are so critically endangered. Um, so we worked with an author called Nicola Davis, who's a very well-known children's author. Um, she's uh, written a book called Last, which is all about you know, a, a rhino and is this rhino the last rhino in the world? Um, and it's a really great little book that uh, tells in a very nice way the, the threats to rhino and, and what people could do to help protect them going forward. So um, I would, would encourage anybody to, to look up the book Last by Nicola Davis. Uh, you can find it on our website. You can also find it through the publisher's Tiny Owl. Um, and despite my background uh, here with the two rhinos looking over my shoulder, I'm actually based in the UK, which is where I am at the moment. Uh, and we also have offices in the US and we have offices in the Netherlands. Uh, and as our name would imply, our, our role in life uh, is, to, is to help and protect rhinos in their natural habitat. Uh, we do that through uh, very carefully selected partners that we have on the ground uh, that we work with in terms of pulling together our projects that we believe will give rhinos a better future for generations to come. Uh, and rhinos are under threat and have been for the last 10 to 15 years, almost like never before. Um, the main threat over that period has been from poaching, uh, where the rhino is poached for its horn, um, which is made of keratin, which is um, essentially the same as our hair and our fingernails. Uh, and that rhino horn is then uh, transported typically to Asia, where it's sold um, for huge amounts of money on the black market. Uh, so a lot of our work and, and focus over the last uh, 10 years has been looking at how do we try and protect rhinos anti-poaching patrols. So we work a lot with putting on traditional boots on the ground anti-poaching patrols. We have an Eyes in the Sky program, uh, which is uh, trying to do the same, but from the air. Uh, we also work with the, uh, the Black Mambas All-Female Anti-Poaching Unit. Um, and again, that's more boots on the ground, but a very innovative approach to bringing local people into, into the world of conservation and empowering them to play a critical role into protecting our wildlife. Um, but unfortunately, we can't always be successful. So we also have a, an orphanage facility with the Zululand Rhino Orphanage. Uh, where we rescue and re rehabilitate and ultimately return to the wild uh, baby rhinos that uh, whose mums have been killed typically by poachers and without such facilities those baby rhinos would not survive um, but I'm very proud to say we've actually had quite a degree of success and returned a number of rhinos back out to the wild uh, after they would come in and been rescued. Uh, so there's a lot of different complexities uh, when we talk about the, a holistic approach to, to rhino conservation. Um, beyond South Africa, we work with the Old Pejita Conservancy in Kenya, uh, where we partner with them on a, on a number of different projects, um, including the last two northern white rhinos in the world that are home there, a mother and daughter called Nain and Fatu. Uh, and that makes them functionally extinct. So we're actually working at the minute looking at scientific based solutions using in virtual fertilization to try and create northern white rhino babies um, through essentially a scientific approach. And you know that, that's very groundbreaking, something that's certainly not been done um, with rhinos in the past. So, so we're excited to see where that leads and, and the opportunities that that might give us, not just for northern white rhinos, but potentially other other species as well. So I hope that's just a flavor, a taste of, uh, of some of the work that we do on the ground. Um, as an international NGO at Helping Rhinos, our role is typically raising the funds that's required to keep those projects operational. And we do that in a number of different ways. Um, you can visit our website, which is helpingrhinos.org and uh, you could adopt a rhino on there, for example. You can sponsor one of the Black Mamba Rangers. Uh, you can make a donation to support our work. Uh, we've had incredible success over the last decade, um, but we have a, a, a huge uh, a vision for the future of creating and protecting rhino strongholds to so areas of land where rhinos can thrive on, uh, along with many other species of wildlife. Land that is, um, land that is protected, 
and land it is managed for the good of our wildlife, of wild spaces that has a positive impact on climate change going forward, on biodiversity and healthy ecosystems. Mm -hmm.